let's get started for demo of PDF generation uh, with the images okay so see in this session we'll learn and we'll implement the logo section how we can add the logo and as well as how we can load the images okay so this images section other two section I already covered my previous section previous session okay so this one I already covered in previous session how we can load in a PDF uh, user details with very look and feel nice look feel okay and this table as well okay so then the last two complete section uh, will complete in this session and then this PDF will complete okay and the next upcoming session will actually reduce that PDF size as well okay so let's get started so before uh, start i especially recommend if you visit first time so definitely i especially recommend to you go to my pdf session series and check out that how we can generate pdf and how we can you know uh, add the html and so on so okay so i'll also share this link in my video description okay and uh, let's get started so see this is same example okay so far we did in last time and so far we complete in our PDS, PDF story session okay so what need to do first okay so first I need to go in PDF generation service class okay let me collapse everything okay and here like first I need to generate a logo okay so before or generate the logo I need to create a method what need to do first I need to create one method for that okay so let me copy that method okay and paste it over here don't worry I'll explain everything okay so see I just create this method get image and convert it to bytes okay and this method expected is you know uh, image URL which is uh, which is our uh, hosting image URL right so don't worry I'll pass it and show you again okay what we are trying to do over here I just create a HTTP client okay in this client we just send our whatever the image okay URL that will pass it over here and that client will what will do they will get that response okay and that response I just trying to you know read as a stream okay and that stream I just pass is to that magic I uh, magic I image library Okay, that magic library image converted to memory stream okay means byte byte array okay so why I'm using that memory uh, image library that's I'll tell you okay because this is very powerful library which is free and also this is support for Mac iOS and Windows to you know uh, compress your uh, PDF okay so that will I will do the next session that's why I take in this library okay if you using any you know, many libraries there like you know you can use that but those are library not supported to your uh, others cross platform okay so let me get this packages first okay so this is that package let me zoom in for you okay so this package is required for you uh, magic net q16 any cpu so that it will cover all the platform okay while in linux while it is or in a windows everything i am installed directly uh, but you can install with your nuget packages okay so see it is done then what we trying to do in this magic uh, magic image library we create a some setting okay what is that height and width of this here and then finally in this magic uh, magic image library ex accepting two parameter as a stream whatever I have a uh, image stream and then settings okay and then finally we writing and converting to we writing an image and converting to bytes array okay so let me call okay so see this is done okay our image what will send the image URL okay which is in our hosted environment and then directly I can uh, directly I can uh, get that image and show in this PDF okay so let me show first go to because I'll, I'll show you that uh, logo section right see this logo section in the top and this logo section 
section is available inside this you know user detail you can do whatever whatever you want okay in your place but in the demonstration purpose i'll just using uh, user details okay so go to that user details okay before the user details i'll just put over here but yeah you can use uh, as you as your place okay so i just show you how you can show the bind the demo uh, you know the logo so so what i need to do just i before starting i need to append okay and what i have to do over here in this logo section i need to add that src image okay so let me copy full code okay let me paste it see what i am trying to do is whatever string builder append image src here just there is a some tricks okay so if i directly uh, give us to url okay so that time we are using only src but when i convert to that image you know that image url to bytes array and then bytes array convert to base 64 string so that time i need to pass this setting okay in this image src data image pages and base 64 it for byte okay so see whatever method we just generated go to implement okay see this method we get that url that they get the url using that url they will just return to byte array and that byte array convert into base 64 base 64 uh, by uh, to base 64 string okay and this is inbuilt function we are not implement anything but yeah this is inbuilt function okay so it is just responsive responsible for to change to byte to base 64 string that's it okay so this is done let me save and let me call okay let me run this application and see the logo is appearing or not okay so let me try out first okay download save see image size has increased and let me open see now it is user details this and this section is pending this will will cover now and see the logo is there okay whatever style you want you can just keep us here i just show you the demo how can bind that logo on the top okay so this logo is done now move it to this section okay so how i can bind the images okay so go to again our code our repository and here okay so this section done now what need to do i need to create one more html one more html so that i can show the all the images okay so this is very simple this time because i need to just create one src uh, html generation okay so let me create that method see that image generate html okay we create a method and what will pass over here i'll pass that uh, you know object of list of images okay and this list of images have that url and id okay though the those url what we'll trying to do one by one to iterate and that iteration what i'm trying to again call that method okay and pass it to that image url and they will convert to bytes array and that bytes array will convert to base 64 string okay and then it will bind in the image array okay so it is complaining okay so what is complaining it is complaining media names images static type cannot be used are the argument okay so it is inbuilt function so that's why it's complaining okay and also see uh, i am referring the model okay so but this is a inbuilt of dot net media type images okay so that cannot i pass it over here so what i need to do first i need to create that image class okay so which is we created in previous session okay if you go to view model see in this view model a pdf request so see here i just create invoice user so same things i need to create a image okay image model which is contained for uh, your image id and image name and url and description okay so let me create that one okay see 
I just create an image and this is content URL and description okay that data also need to populate okay so what one thing is done image is done and stop is debugging what you need to do you just change it to see this is same name if you trying to use same class name which is inbuilt function so it is giving the option like okay you have to use your one to like this way okay this is a visual studio given the features so let me click this one and if you go scroll up see whatever your image view model it is just creating a images okay so this one you can just use it right now see one side is so error has been gone okay and now what need to do and this one you have to call in here uh, in your main method okay where is your main method this is your main method okay here there is a last point okay we are need to generate images okay so here just a string images html and call that method and pass it to your data right so just pass to data as of now i have only available user details and invoices okay we don't have that image list okay so let me create that one so you have to go then controller because in last session we just created dummy data in the controller level okay so what i need to do i need to just create that images or uh, dummy images okay so let me copy this and paste it over here okay see it is very simple uh, okay one more thing i miss it okay so go to that request pdf request see there i need to create a one more property okay that image list so that i need to create it uh, i have to create okay so let me create that property okay now it's done so this this is a request model view model and in this view model we have to bind this data okay so go back to your controller so now see uh, that error has gone and now what i i did just i have a image you know i have a hosted image url so i just pass it to, over here okay and this is we'll call this method and go to that method here you available you will get that images okay let me call that images okay and finally this images will get means that that html will generated and just append the final html okay that's it okay let me build so that we can make sure everything is working fine okay so everything is working fine and then uh, let me run let me close whatever it's running previously so let me run in the debugging mode okay now it's running go and uh, try out execute see it is there and uh, i'll show you to that image one okay so go to that implementation this and run and run and execute okay see now it is there now it is creating a string builder and also just create append to that one style and then finally you are getting over here see all the images is there with this description okay and what we'll do over here it will go to that method just debugging point over here as well so that you can understand what actually it's doing okay so continue now it's receiving over here with this image url it is just call and get that response okay see 200 get the response and after that response what i am trying to do the retrieving to stream okay and that stream also we convert it to memory okay using that magic img 
and this magic mg write uh, images and return back to your as a byte array okay so like this way it will process and will bind and uh, no, generate this src images okay so let me continue let me continue okay and just download download see this time image size has increased okay so image size has increased two to two one that also will done in next upcoming session uh, to reduce our images size or you know pdf size okay so let me open and see see this section is done logo is done and as well as your image is also populated okay so this is done so let me show you uh, what we have done so far so that you can understand like uh, what's going on actually okay so what i did i just created you know i'm just given the overview again okay so created a model okay inside the model we just created a model whatever our data is required based on the data and then also i created a one html okay html file and this html file also you know get it from in this service okay and this service read that html file and you know generate uh, convert it to html document and then we have to uh, generate one by one html uh, for that user details tables images and give it to html node and then finally update to our html document okay and return back to here then go to controller controller will get this contain i mean html and that html will send to this pdf generation generation service and it will change it to byte array and byte array will generate with the your pdf okay so that is done okay so thank you and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and next session we'll do that reduce our pdf or compress our pdf size